Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. This review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Joy Toy Officially Licensed Warhammer 40K Space Marine Space Wolves Claw Pack member Brother Gunner 118 scale action figure. And this is the packaging that it comes in. It's a black box, nice artwork of the figure on the front. Top of the packaging, we have the Joy Toy logo, Warhammer logo, and AIDS recommendations 15 and older. These are for adult collectors. The bottom of the Warhammer, Warhammer 40k logo and the product description on this package. Top of the box with the Warhammer 40k logo. Same for the bottom of the box. Here on the side of the packaging we have the copper rate and some of the other product descriptions that we've already talked about. If you want to pause and read that if you need to you can. And this side of the box has a bunch of Chinese eggs recommendations, recycling symbol, UPC. If you need any of that information, you can pause and read that also. For the back of the box, we have product description at the top, content statement, a very large uh, photo of the character and all the accessories. I laid out a frame there on the left of the video, and then three product shots on the right of the video, front, back, and a close up of the head sculpt and chest. So, with that being said, let's take a look uh, at this character outside the packaging. Okay, here is the figure and his accessories inside the clamshell packaged very nicely so hopefully everything's good here on the back of the packaging worth noting is this baggie here of his cloak so don't lose that okay here's brother gunner outside the clamshell looks pretty cool with the light blue with the very light uh, black wash in different spots of the character where it needs to be so let's start off by taking a look at that head sculpt. So here we go. We have the nice red eyes, the black in the vents. We have a gold diamond with a metallic red diamond in the center of that. The side here we have a silver tubes and a cylinder tube. Same thing on this side. The back we have two little cylinders there. The top of the head we have the nice wash. Pretty cool. Throughout, looks good. Okay, for his chest, we have the beautiful gold skull and wings. Looks amazing. Here on this pauldron, we have nice paint, nice weathering. We have the yellow in the center, more like a light brown here on the outside, and the red triangles. Looks good. This pauldron looks amazing. We have the wolf's insignia for the chapter. We have this double head wolf done in silver with this diamond and silver with a red metallic, like a 3D pop out type of diamond there. That looks amazing. Then we get some rings here into the bottom of his pauldron. That looks really cool. I love detail like that. On his uh, waist belt here, we have a gold trim, black belt. Two silver studs and the crossbones in the middle. Very, very nice. And on this gauntlet, we have a red and silver button. Nothing over here but some wash. Back of the figure, we have the two pig holes for the power pack. And also, here we have a, two removable pieces. We have this three piece here that's a pouch, a larger pouch, and a cylinder, a canister that's removable. And then the pistol holster and a pouch is also removable. And they are movable as well as removable. So you can move them around a good bit. Side here of a stud. Here we have a tail. Attached to some kind of gold uh, cone and a chain. It's very cool. We have the black here paint. I love this little pieces of paint everywhere. Where he makes a figure pop like this silver here. The lower legs in the back has this little silver touches also. You can see the weathering here throughout. Here, here, and here. Some here on the side, actually in the foot. And then at the bottom of the shin guards and the top of the uh, foot here. It's very cool. Two peg holes on the bottom. All right. Looking decent. These are very nice figures. It's 360 look.
That is amazing. Very cool. Amazing. I love that. All right, for articulation, he can't look down. He can't look up. He got a little side to side. 360 rotation, no problem. 60 rotation on all, and both arms are the same. So 360 rotation on the arms, they do pop out to provide you some room. Ball bell for the pauldrons, so they can move on their own. 360 rotation up here as a cut. Double jointed elbows, very nice. Wrist 360, down up, in and out, and all different directions you would like. We have a little bit of side to side, the belt kind of gets in the way. Forward, back. 360 rotation there, but there's a lot going on, so you have to take this stuff off. If we go spin him 360, if you like to do that. Sitting. I guess it's pretty good for a big guy. I'm impressed. Let's see if we get his arms out of the way. Splits uh, to the side, not too much. Got these uh, pieces here to hit the uh, lower uh, stomach area. A little bit this way. When you have this stuff on, it kind of hinders the ability to do that. Die rotation. Double jointed knees. Looks fantastic. Uh, for the feet, they do pivot down, pivot up, toe articulation up. We have a rocker side to side. And if you want that 360, you just gotta force it past this. I'm not doing that. So you guys can uh, explore that on your own there if you need to do that. Let me pop the arms back in. All right, for the accessories, uh, you get this new silicone pack, this desiccant pack uh, they're putting in these packages. I don't recommend you keep those in there because if you have no issues with dampness in your house, and this, this measurement's not correct, it can draw out your figures and do damage over time. It's not really necessary, but notice in there and do not eat it, uh, especially if you're buying these for the kids. Make sure you remove this before you give it to them. Just a little safety. Uh, heads up there now talk about heads check out this head sculpt This is very nice We have the old gray mutton chops there's some silver in that beard Silver mane maybe huh that's so cool Silver eyebrows <laughs> Yeah, hey, look it's over to me. Here we have a uh, Dot on his head for service, mutton chops throughout. Here on this side, you see part of his uh, helmet. Some silver paint there. Silver paint on the back. Part of his helmet. And this is pretty cool how the uh, hair is just from the side of his head into this braid. Done very nicely. Very cool. I do like this head sculpt very, very much. Got a screaming mouth, looks nice, paint, nicely painted. Uh, so let's see if we can get off this guy's head. Ah, there we go. We knocked down this box, but that's okay. Because um, we can pick it back up. Okay, so I got that off. So here's what the bottom looks like. And I'll toss this aside. There's what the ball bell joint looks like. You just gotta pop this head on. Some really good force. Hear that snap. Okay. So let's see how. Now we have some problem with his brother Logan, and uh, kind of see so his hair doesn't get away of this collar here, which is great. So it looks very good. So his articulation is down. Back to stationary, a little side to side, not much up though, 
or down movement to anything. 360 rotation, no sweat. I think that looks incredible. I like that head sculpt. Very cool. So we'll leave that on for a while because it looks very, very unique. Anyway, take a look at some of his accessories. Okay, for me, this is my very first double-sided chainsaw sword. I uh, always, we've always seen the ones that have just this side, and this is a you know, case here. But this is open now on both sides. Silver blades, black body, black motor, black handle, gunmetal studs here. I don't want to do hand guard. And it's a little hook here that you probably put a root through if you wanted to. If you wanted just to hang that on his back. It's not provided, but definitely an option there for that. That's cool. Now, I noticed a couple of my figures recently I've done reviews for. Oh, he got soft hands. Okay, that makes no sense because these are pretty much probably the same hands as all the other figures. Very pliable. And there we go. See if I can move the camera just a little bit. That's how that looks. It's very nice. So it's his double jointed elbow and how his wrist complements that. Without cutting his head off, we can do like a shoulder pose if you really wanted to. Of course, you can fine tune that for your shelf. All right, looking good. So next we have this heavy bolt carbine. A little different. Well, I've seen these before, but not the, the standard version. This one has a little different loadout. We have the scope, so we have a lot of gunmetal here and black, and the the color pattern goes throughout the scope's body. We have a silver lens instead of a red one this time. We have a, a wing and skull here. Drill to the side on the barrel. Drill barrel on the front. Here's the other side. Looks amazing. Give the AK-47 style curb clip. No shells to be seen. That's could have used some right there. But you know they have these little stripes on here, so you can't really push this in too far to it gets stuck sometimes. If you're familiar with these weapons. Very, very cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we can get Gunner here to let go of that sword. And we'll take a look how we can put his car, um, carbine in his uh, his paw there. There, okay. Pretty easy. That's a large gun. Trigger finger right where it belongs. Holds it. Nice tall ones. Joints. They ain't too, the gun's not too heavy for the figure. As you can see here, straight out. If that's something you want to do. But you can bring this guy down. Come across. And then you can work with the different types of hands that he comes with. And maybe get a two handed wield. Something like that. It could be blasting. That's why I got his mouth open. Like, Pretty cool. So he comes with uh, two extra sets of hands here. Let's see if we can find them. There we go. Just get these out of the way. Nothing more than he has. This is his two gripping hands. And then the other set we have is right here. Just gripping hands. So next we have this little baggie that's attached to the back of the clamshell. And that's this. Very nice. We have the dark paint going into the center to the out with the lighter paint of the fur. We have this tail between with this little half cylinder clip hanging onto the back for a tail. We have these two paws, gray with black claws. You may notice cut out here, but hold on one second. This is a two piece application. They have the power pack. Um, 
with the vents inside painted black nice weathering we have some silver dots throughout we've got a metal here and on these vents here and uh these rotate 360 but mine right now they're starting to be why i need to heat them up before i break them silver here on the side on the silver dots there that's good okay here we have gunner facing in the rear here so this piece has this cut out it goes over this part here and then you take the backpack and be very careful with the pins so you don't break on you and get stuck in there gotta push that in it looks like my tolerances might be off a little maybe not maybe just a little bit of angle you had to put those in on and then you can uh, see how cool that looks it holds that cape right on Very, very nice. Oh, I gave him a stand right. Okay, here we go. All right, for price, he's about about $40, $45 in China. So add about another 10, 15 bucks for US if when they come out from pre-order on average. Um, how do you recommend these figures? These are amazing figures. Um, I don't hardly have, have any um, cons, pros, or just I just love these figures. These um, Space Wolf Call Pack are have been amazing, so um, nothing really negative for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, comment down below, like the video, and uh, we will see you in our next review.